Hey guys, today on Zulu Tech, I'm going to be showing you how to run your older games that require CDs on your computer without the CD. So it's very simple. There are two pieces of freeware in the description. One's called Free Asso Maker. The other one is called Virtual Clone Drive. Now when you install these and you get them set up, what you can do is this. You see, I have on my computer three virtual DVD drives that I created with uh, the clone DVD drive thing. So and right here I have a virtual copy of Call of Duty World at War, the PC version of course, and it's mounted on the virtual DVD drive. So I mean this game used to require a CD but now I can run it off my computer because I have a copy of the disc or an ISO of it created. You see it's running here. And so I can run the game off my computer and to do this all you gotta do once you install free ISO maker Let's so open it up. Select where the physical CD is. For me, it would be Drive E. You see here, DVD rewritable. So wherever the physical CD is, select that drive and then put in a name here and then save it on your computer somewhere. So after that, you push Create. It could take a while, so let it finish. And then when it's done, close out of that. And you know, once you have Virtual Clone Drive installed. All you got to do is open it up, select the number of virtual DVD drives you want, push OK, and uh, this program does run in the background at all times, but the nice thing is it's extremely lightweight using only about 2 megabytes of RAM, and I can show you that uh, here somewhere, my, there it is, 2.1 megabytes of RAM, so it's very lightweight, no problem to have. So once you have that, all you got to do is go to where you save the ISO on your computer, and the ISO is the uh, the virtual copy of your CD and uh, I put it somewhere on this drive right here so here's my ISO my virtual copy of Call of Duty and all you gotta do is mount it right here when you right click on an ISO there will now be a new thing called mount and you can mount it on one of your virtual DVD drives and you can unmount it likewise so that's all there is to it guys it's very simple I hope this was helpful so you know if you like this video please put a thumbs up on it you know share the video with your friends check out the playlist and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll see you guys next time